we have launched the new Home Mode in version 3.1. We believe that players have already started building their dream home on their very own island. In this video, we'll be going over some essential tips for building your home. To start off, in the Home Mode, you must first lay down flooring before you can proceed. When placing an object, the game will automatically align with the direction it is facing. You can also manually change where it faces with the rotate feature. You can use the free edit mode to freely move through the air as you build your home. If you make a mistake, you can always undo it. When placing objects in your home, you can make fine adjustments to really dial in the look you want. If you want to delete your entire layout to build a new one, you can use the Remove All feature to clear your current home layout and start anew. Take note that if you get stuck between objects, you can use the Unstuck feature to go back to the starting point. Next, when reaching Home Level 8, you'll gain access to the Blueprint feature. In the Blueprint Workshop, you can publish your own home blueprints and let others gain inspiration from your creation. You can also purchase official blueprints or blueprints created by other players to quickly recreate a preferred style with a single tap. You're free to further edit the layout, generated by the blueprint as you like. If you wish to use a blueprint for your home, you have to purchase any unowned objects before you can publish it. Upon reaching Home Level 15, you gain access to the Multiplayer Build feature. When in Blueprint Mode, invite others for up to four players to build together. At the same time, you can communicate using voice or text chat to make the building process faster. But remember, if you wish to use a Blueprint created in Multiplayer Build Mode for your own home, you will have to purchase the objects placed by your friends. Once finished with a Blueprint, you can choose to save it or use it for your home. However, keep in mind that applying the Blueprint will overwrite the home's previous layout, and this action cannot be undone with the undo feature. <laughs> Lastly, here are some home upgrade tips that all players should know. Your home level determines the number of structures and objects you can place in your home. You can go to the home level or the butler management page in the top left corner to check the prosperity and home coins required to upgrade your home. After upgrading your home, you can enjoy awesome rewards and perks. You'll be able to unlock more space, and the number of objects you can place also increases. In home, different objects grant varying amounts of prosperity. Hence, when building, you can place objects that grant higher prosperity to reach the required amount of prosperity to increase your home level. When upgrading your home, home coins are essential too. You can obtain home coins from the home trees or by participating in ranked classic matches to purchase better objects and more quickly increase your home level to unlock more perks for your home. Not only that, you can also join the Home Prosperity Ranking event. Different rewards and home coins will be awarded on reaching certain amounts of prosperity. At the end of the event, we will also distribute rewards based on your all-time highest prosperity. Upgrade your home now. Those were some tips for building your home. What are you waiting for? Invite your friends to build together and explore the infinite possibilities in home.